So, let's talk strategy of infrastructure. From 2016 to 2020, Donald Trump was in power, and even before his election, he talked about wanting to do infrastructure. And yet, despite McConnell and the GOP controlling everything for much of that time, they did the tax cut, infrastructure never came up. So let's talk about who benefits, first of all, from a bill. And in this case, it's an economic bill, so let's talk economics. I'm not talking political power. I'm talking who actually benefits from the bill. So I've got poor, middle class, the wealthy, and businesses. Well, if you consider infrastructure, the poor are going to benefit. Uh, water, electricity, internet, uh, better roads, uh, infrastructure, everything that goes with that benefits those who have the least. Middle class also very, very beneficial for them. It's jobs on top of all of that other stuff, right? Gas and power and stuff like that. The problems that we saw in Texas, for example, with the winter freeze, that all dramatically affected the middle class. So they would absolutely benefit. How about the wealthy? Well, we can make an argument that the wealthy don't necessarily need as much of that infrastructure. They've already got it most likely, but they're oftentimes business owners, and they are certainly overall going to benefit as society benefits. So it might not be quite as much, but they're certainly still going to benefit. And how about business? Well, of course, business is going to benefit from the infrastructure bill, both as far as new jobs and work, right? They're the ones that are going to be creating the new roads and dams and bridges and infrastructure for internet and everything else. Um, so it's, it's new jobs, it's new opportunity for them, and of course, long term. So we've got short term and long-term benefits to all of this. And so then the question becomes, why didn't it happen? Well, we can argue taxes, right? And that's oftentimes one of the things that gets brought up, right? If taxes are gonna go up. Well, here's what we know about infrastructure, is that it always pays for itself and then some. And that's how we got out of the Great Depression. After years and years of being in depression, it was the New Deal that created all this infrastructure, all this jobs, all this opportunity, and gave us all that long-term growth. So we know that infrastructure is good for us long-term, short-term, it more than pays for itself, it benefits the poor, the middle class, the wealthy, and the business. So now the question becomes, if Donald Trump wanted it, why didn't it happen? That's the next video.